I'm sorry, when c is less than zero, uh, it's, we're going to be looking at polynomials in the form of x squared. This would be a positive or negative uh, big x, and then this will be a minus c for today. And yesterday, this was a positive or negative, but c was positive. All right, so let's look at an example. Okay, so here's the process. We're going to do it the same way we did it yesterday. <clears throat> uh, we're going to find two numbers that add to give us that 4, and two numbers that multiply to give us that negative 21. So we can do this in our heads for some of us, but for, for not all, all these problems you're not going to do in your head. Some of them you're just going to have to write a product table. So we'll do like the product of negative 21. All right, so what are the products or the factors of negative 21? Gloria? 1 and 21. 3 and 7. Okay, we'll ignore the negatives right now. Yeah. That's it. 1 and 21, 3 and 21. I'm sorry, 1 and 21, 3 and 7. All right. So we know that this needs to be a 3 and a 7. The question is, which one should be negative? Seven. All right. So to figure out which one's negative, we're going to look at this one. This one is positive, yes? So when we add 3 and 7, which one needs to be negative in order to get 4? Positive 4x. The 3. Three needs to be negative. Does that make sense? If the if the seven was negative, we'd still have negative twenty-seven, right? But the the four x would be a negative four x. Right. So these are our factors, and then we could break that into x minus three times x plus seven. Um, so this product table or this factor table. It's really just helping us uh, see the numbers that uh, can be possibilities. Now, if you want to go in more detail, you can. You could have made this a one, a negative, and like that. But then you would have had to do uh, positive one, negative 21, and positive three, and uh, uh, negative seven. If you want to do that, you can go that route. And you can see that this negative three and seven add to give us positive four. Okay, questions? All right, let's do one more. x squared minus 10x uh, minus 39. All right, some of you are getting real good at this, and you can kind of just see the numbers. Your brain works in that way. Does anyone just automatically see these numbers? A couple of us. How many of you just can't see the numbers unless you do the uh, factor table? That's okay. Factor tables are just fine. All right, the numbers here are uh, negative, negative 13 and positive 3. 3 times 13 is negative 39. And um, here, let me write. 3 and 13, right? Which one has to be negative? The 13. So otherwise, that 10 would be positive, right? All right. So this is x minus 13 times x plus 3. Oh, I'm sorry, I should put a plus there. Thank you, whoever said that. 